All right, you guys, welcome to the MCS weekly update. Sorry, I got a little bit of a late start today, but um, here we are. Well, happy Halloween to you guys. I hope you guys have a great treat and um, get ready for trick or treating this wonderful Wednesday, October 31st. So, hope you guys um, get your candy ready. As I know, a lot of uh, trick or treaters start to go out. It's about a uh, little bit short five minutes um, till five over here in California so we have another maybe an hour and a half to two hours before the sugar treaters start to come by gotta head home take the kids walk around and um, get them sweets Omar Peter Cody Joe uh, Jose James David good to see all you guys oh Red good to see you buddy AK12 been a while took us a long time to get it right and I got some great features I want to show you guys. Um, of course, with a lot of work, dedication, um, made tons of errors, but we finally figured out and how to do it and do it great. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what, why it took so long and what we did to kind of give the AK-12 a whole fresh new dimension to what we're currently doing. Like nothing ever been done before, we try. We've been thinking about for a long time, but never really able to do it. Um, took some thinking outside the box, figured out the different little things on it before we got it right. So hopefully you guys, as exciting as I am on the AK-12, Carlos, James, Joseph, good to see you, buddy. Uh, man, it's been um, you know, haven't seen you guys for like a week, but it seemed like a while. Been kicking ass here. Uh, prepare for a holiday season to come around the corner. Right now we're looking at about another uh, couple more weeks before um, Thanksgiving and Black Friday and then Cyber Monday and the next thing you know you get a jingle going on and um, you call it out a year, right? So no more further ado, um, I'm going to show you guys some of the AK-12 um, on it and then I'll review re the real <laughs> reveal for you the final one with the most anticipating features that we put together. So, so AK-12, right? So this is the basic version that you guys gonna get um, built with the Tipman X7 Classic trigger frame. You can actually see how it's kind of connect together here. On the X7 Classic, it kind of dropped down at an angle. You can actually cut it off and then it connects together real nicely. All the accessory fully compatible. So you have a handguard, the pin just go in and then you can just attach it together and off it goes. All the accessories, if you have um, air through on your X7 Classic, you have any type of handguard, um, trigger system, response tr trigger, electronic trigger, pretty much anything you have on your X7 Classic, it is fully compatible. Um, we made it, now, it took a little bit of time, but this project here, I did from the ground up. I mean, I did every little thing on it, I checked, I mean, really, um, something that I didn't walk into the project. I did the project from A to Zinc, making sure that every aspect of it come out right. I uh, didn't skip anything, even down like the magazine wise, a lot of times where when you do the magazine, you don't really know how well it fits. This one right here, you go in, rock back, just like AK, pull it back, boom. But right there, a little bit tight there, but come here, you just pull and it come right out. A little bit tight on this one here. So I'll show you guys another one that's a little bit better. So this is the AK-12 on the excellent classic body. Of course, um, you can upgrade to your lockbook. And using the current one where I have, the Blizzard um, and the Bolt, they use the same version on that. All right, so this is the AK-12 basics on that. If you're doing any of the the wood stuff that we have on the, the, the old version, this one actually fits a lot better. The, so this one come in a lot cleaner here. It fits a lot better. Um, see how it goes. It comes in, goes right, rock it back. So um, it, that's how it should be, and that's how it functions. Tuna, good to see you guys, Junior. Oh man, uh, we have a big. Uh, <laughs> we have a, a great week today. We got we have a bunch of people um, getting on the show this week. So as I was saying, that this um, accessory wise, you can do your um, wood stuff. You can do the um, any basic setup you have, you can paint it to turn into like a black rifle um, with all the accessories you have. So 
um, like I said, it took me a while to get this uh, this magazine out and get it kind of coming just like that. So this one actually flow much better than the previous one, but this is how it should be. Pull it out, stick it in, rock it back. All right. Um, like I said, that, that's, it looks as simple like that, but when we actually start to do the drawing and cat that out and then um, kind of figure out how to do that, it took us a while, but this is exactly how it functions as far as that um, functionality goes. Guys, if you guys are watching the show, um, you can please help me share the show so that way more people know about uh, what we do and the, um, the the work that we're going to put out and get more information out there so more people can support, you know, participate in our sports. Oh, Skylar, good to see you. Daniel, Dylan, <laughs> um, Augustus, good to see all you guys. So the final, I'm going to skip the final version, AK-12. I'm going to show you guys the auction. Um, kind of hold on that reveal a little bit there. I'm going to show you guys the auction and then we'll go back and I'll show you guys the full build of the AK-12. So, um, this is obviously this week right here. Um, this week right here, it's not AK-12. This is right here, your auction for today. This built by Maxwell Taylor. He gave you guys a really special build for Halloween. There you go. He painted red, give you that uh, mixture, a little bit uh, of um, a color there for you. Twin grenade launcher. So bidding start at 100 bucks. You guys up for this? This is yours for you to, uh, to go after. Two grenade launchers side by side. Got a little flare going on here. You load both sides in, lock, lock, and then you rock and roll. Of course, this is just a standard uh, Blizzard setup, but uh, custom built, one of a kind. You're never gonna see this again, so you're up for it. This is yours. Corey, good to see you. Daniel, good to see you. I know. <laughs> no, a lot of you guys love this thing, you know, it's a little bit different. Um, but uh, it's it's a fun little piece here built for those that want to um, take it out on the treat. See how he kind of quad that out right in the middle. So you never really, um, you can only make this work if you build this way, right? See how the handguard kind of offset to like uh, 90 degrees right there. I'm, I'm sorry, 45 degrees allow you to kind of do this twin setup here. Pretty wicked, I love it. All right guys. Like I said, you up for this? This is the, the auction for the week. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the final version of the AK-12. So, um, you are, this right here is the AK-12. This is the full built version. And I'm gonna show some uh, some some accessories for you guys first. If you look at this right here, um, the barrel, it looks like complicated, but look, the barrel, it just twists right off. Um, it comes, it's an O-ring there, but it, it should come, it can come right off. Um, if you take this over here, let me take it off right here. So it's really a little bit tight there. All right. So you can actually pull the barrel right out and twist right here. It comes right in. And then for handguard, if you, if you take this off right here, it comes right out. And then this the the, the pins. You just pull that. It's really easy for transition from the different versions. That's it. Really simple to set up. Um, you can do, if you want, you can do the CQB version of it too. So this is a CQB version. A lot of people are asking whether we do the short version of it. We have the short version as well. This is a six and a half inch handguard. Um, so if you want to kind of give you a short look, you can build with the short look internal air run right through so if you want to do internal air you can do internal air as well with the accessory you have you can do the standard ASA or you can also do the drop down ASA as well on it so this is what you can get on that as well of course the like the triggers this one has the respond trigger so you have you running respond trigger electronic trigger on your current uh, Turbine Excellent Classic you definitely can upgrade it so there you go Back to this, uh, this this one right here on the setup. You can see that um, the butt stop, I mean the, the, the handguard right here, you can easily put it back, stick it back in here. Just push pin. That's the beauty of the setup right here. Just push it in, 
snap it in and off you go and stick the barrel in. That's it. All right, gonna show you guys the major features that this marker has. Um, like I said, it took us a while to figure out all the kinks, but this is the features that we've been working so hard on. So most of the time you guys go on to play, you have your full rifle, and then when you need to go to do like a CQB, you can't really do that. You have to take the tank off. This guy right here comes with the tank built in on the buttstock. So you can do your full rifle system, and when you're ready to go, you do a little bit of CQB, or you want to store it away, not having to fight, you depress, and your buttstock folds. Right there. This is how it's set up. Of course, you can still fu fully functional like this when you need to play. You can actually shoot it, boom, rock, take your shot. That's the latest feature we add together on the AK-12. It's simple, never been done before. Um, we're able to run the air through the, the buttstock, right through the, the ring there. Um, and that's right there, that's the AK-12, guys. All right, I'm gonna play, um, let me show you guys the, um, the auction again really quick for those who just joined us. And then I'm gonna play a video for you um, on the AK-12, kind of um, go over the features that I just showed you, and then um, you can see what's about. And from there, we can um, go back to the auction here. So, back to the auction, um, built for your for those that want to treat custom paint job there and a twin grenade launcher. Um, I think someone's on it for 210 right now. Daniel, congratulations. Um, 210 on that and this is your auction for the week the way that this works is you slide this little guy here last slide forward um, drop your grenade show m68 m92 m, m68 and no, m96 or different type of version we have slide it in lock into place and then there's a safety right here red for ready and you fire it off so you have twin grenade launcher right there set to go beautiful all right i'm gonna play that um uh, the, the video for you guys, you can see what's the video about what the uh, AK-12 about for those that just came in and kind of go over a little bit, some shooting there for you guys. Anthony, uh, Brian Reeves, good to see you. All right, here goes the AK-12 video. Combat sports. Hi, my name is KT with MCS, and today I have a video for you on the Tacmo AK-12. I'm gonna show you all the version we have, and then some new accessories and features that we put together. Showing you the first marker right here. This is the basic version we have. This one actual conversion kit from this X7 Classic. You can take any component you have on an X7 Classic and transfer it over to the new body. You can see that the, the pins and the handguard um, trigger frame and everything just kind of transfer over magazine just pull, pull it out rock, rock it in that's it the next one um, this is the wood kit on that AK-12 so if you have existing accessory you already have on your x Classic you can transfer it over or we'll pretty much build anything you like with x Classic um, Tipman Phenom and even the Hurricane they all the accessory are compatible with the AK-12 all right, finally, we're gonna show you the AK-12 on the full build. This is a full build of the AK-12. Has a 9.7 inch handguard, free floating barrel. The barrel just twists and comes right off. Front side right here, it's adjustable. You can, if you want, add a longer barrel. You can adjust it out. You have a shorter barrel, you can adjust it in a little bit. Depends on what your setup is. Of course, new trigger frame that goes with the body. Safety right here. Nicely set up so that way you don't have to fight with that. Oh, the latest design we put together is the air system. Right there. You pop that out, lock into place. Now you have the full, full rifle system, or if you want to fold it up, you reduce your profile, and now you can do CQB and able to maneuver easier going through obstacle. Open. Magazine, same thing. Magazine. Pop open, it goes right in there. 
All right, the final version that we have is this one here. This one has the short handguard, allows you to build a CQB version of the AK-12, run the air right through the body. So if you have your X7 Classic air system, you can actually use that. We have the drop down ASA here. You can use this or use the one you already have. The standard version will work too, but if you want to do drop down, you can do that as well. All right, let's do some shooting on this and see how it works. This marker here has a respond trigger, so allow us to kind of, you can pull the trigger and it's silent. So what it is, it has a little piston right here and it recycles the trigger as you pull it. If you have any question, comment, concern, get to our website, mcsus.com and we're able to answer any question you have. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you guys out there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that quick video there. Like I said, it's, um, it's kind of revealing how the AK-12 works. I know it's kind of different from everything we've done in the past. Um, this is one of those projects, like I said, I built it from the ground up with pretty much everything, every aspect of it. It took me um, the little nuance in it, uh, especially we have to reverse engineer some of the aspects that Tipman did. Um, I think you watched some of the video that we did. It's it's um, the step that it took, the handguard was off, just a little thing about it. You gotta make sure it's compatible to all the typical accessory, like the trigger, the response trigger, gotta works perfectly. And the pins, you can see the pins I showed you earlier, just coming in and out with just a little push. Um, that way, when you have it, you don't have to fight with that. Some of the one we did in the past is not, um, not you know absolutely perfect when we get go. We have to make adjustment on it as we go. This one. I made sure that the, the, the magazine feeds properly when you rock it in. I was saying earlier, see how this right here, you can just kind of go in and then rock into place. Nice and easy. You can just push a button and pop right out. Or you just put it in right here and rock it in. Like I said, I revealed some of the video I did. So you do a quick mag change. You grab your magazine, you kick this out, stick another one in, rock. So, see, I'm doing that. I'm doing with my. Uh, not in the right position and able to kind of do a quick match change there without having to kind of fumble so something like this is great for new players or player that kind of having to difficulty reaching to the um, the trigger mag release this is probably ideal for that person um, built something like this like I said it takes a little bit of time but we finally got it done of course um, you can what I do I'm doing this a little bit different now right now this you can go onto the site and you can check out the new program we just started the the project uh, section of the site and this allow us to kind of let you participate in some of the program that we are gonna put together as far as project deals you can pre-order these and then we get to a certain number of participants we go to production give us the, the the funds that we need, the resources that we need, so we can continually put on project after project without having to stop. Lots of time, we kind of race to the finish line, get it done, um, produce it, and then ship them out for field orders, and then we can jump on the next project because we don't have to the, uh, the funds or the resources to go one project after another. Uh, like I said, this AK-12, it's simple as it looks, but a lot of machining work needs to be done. More need to be made to get this project um, completed. As far as you, if you are looking to get the conversion kit, the conversion kit is available. You can order it now, and we're hoping to um, ship it out before Christmas. So if you guys are looking for getting an X7 class conversion kit, it is available for you to order. Um, some uh, were asking about whether the handguard accessory is going to be available. Yes, you can buy this handguard. You can attach this handguard in the Hurricane, on the X7 Classic, any of the kind of the tool pin in that similar body. You can use the handguard, like I showed you earlier, how the, um, the barrel can just come right off, free floating. Pin, you just drop this pin, two of them, pop, and it comes right out. It's, it's really it's really that quick and easy if you want to do CQB do that fold the butt stock down and then now you can do um, short uh, do a little short barrel and you like a machine pistol right there 
without having to kind of pin the rinse on that. All right, um, put it back together. Like I said, reverse that process a little bit here. Once you put it in, it seemed like that, but I made it fits so nicely that there's almost no wiggling uh, on it once you put it on. So it's just pressure fit right in. Whip and comes right in. They press the, uh, put, put the pin right in. Once you get it in, it stays in there real nicely. There you go. Very nice fit. That's how fast you can um, clean this little guy here if you want to take it apart or customize it. And that's it. And if you don't like the hand, the long version handguard, you can actually get the short version handguard right here. Um, and you can get a couple different handguard. You can convert back and forth between the games. Just take out the, bow, uh, the, the barrel and then you can switch back and forth based on what you like. All right, guys. Any questions, um, go ahead and uh, jump in and then I will able to answer any questions you have. Oh boy, Choi uh, at two thirty on oh two seventy on auction again by Elijah. Uh, Damien, good to see you, buddy. I'm gonna see here some of the question here. I'm gonna post up here. Uh huh. Somebody got a fake coat going on. <laughs> oh, would you make that stock on the four six eight? Damien, catch the show next week, and I will show you what I did on that for the four six eight. So. Um, took, like I said, it um, took me a while to kind of get the spec correctly and when you check out next week I, I did a beautiful buttstock on there. It uh, fits on a 468 and a PTR. Um, I will show you that, guys that next week. This kind of show you what's going on um, as far as the buttstock. I mean that buttstock goes but next week if you catch the show I will reveal for you that uh, setup on the 468 and the PTR. Something like this that, that does take a little bit of time, a lot of effort, um, but it's well worth it because it's allow us to kind of bring out some new ideas, some uh, you know, giving us a new life on the product. Like I said, if, if we were to build this, okay, just like any standard um, product already done. So when you build something like this right here, sure, it it has a drop down, but added a little bit of feature to this now. Um, give you a lot more versatility as far as your market goes, right? Alright guys, any questions? Um, let me know. Um, let me show you guys the, um, the the auction gun once more so that way you can see what you're bidding for. So this is the auction, auction gun for this week. <laughs> Custom built, you guys. You're never gonna see this market ever again. Even if you wanna buy, uh, you're not gonna see. This is a Halloween special built for just that. Give it that <laughs> that trick or treat looks. Got a little blood going on here, and then twin grenade launcher right there. Kind of triangle out a little bit. Um, if you if you're not familiar with this grenade launcher, it's a phantom grenade launcher, a short version. You depress a little button right here, the latch, and then you slide. This um, we we'll call this the bridge forward. You drop in a grenade shell, slide back, lock into place, and then there's a safety right here. If you have there's an exposed red, the, the, the safety kind of lock. If you push it and reveal the real red ring there, and now you can depress this and fire off the grenade launcher if you have one that's uh, locked into place. So now you get two to play with. <laughs> Jordan, good to see you, buddy. Um, it's uh, let's see here. What size of barrel on the tackle version? The uh, you're talking about this one. Um, I think this one here. I believe this one has the 10 inch barrel on here. 10 or 12, probably a 12 inch. Let me check here. That's the like I said. That's the beauty about this uh, this setup right here. I made a free floating, so that way you don't have to get stuck with. Um, Having to take handguard off and what's not cleaning, service repair, I'll make it easier. This is definitely a 12 inch barrel. And you don't have to go with this front sight here, you can actually take it off and then in, um, attach a wrist front sight on the top. But this sight here, give that AK look to it. Barrel fits right through. It's like I said, it's, it takes a little bit of work, but um, 
we're able to integrate it in and make it like a one piece setup so less part less things to worry about um, you can get the slanted um, <laughs> muzzle brakes here it's kind of cool give you that uh, 8k look to it so Anthony if you ask me about this barrel that's a 12 inch barrel all right so next week if you guys uh, be on a show next week uh, someone is asking forget the, the person asking 468 I have the 46 folding stock version 2 and I will reveal that for you next week like I said, each week kind of show you a little bit of work that we did um, kind of bring us along so you can show you what we what we work on what we're planning what we're thinking and I hopefully I can show you guys before the month and the box mag uh, I'm not ready to show you guys yet but as we get closer within the month of November and um, the box mag will start to be released get closer to it so we can reveal that for you I will put the box mag into the project as well so when you guys go to the site I'm gonna add a link and it's gonna be under resources and it'd be a project and if you want to go access right now there is no link for it but if you go to the site and you uh, look for the AK-12 link um, the AK-12 right now is on the site for you to order like I said this is a pre-order thing that we're doing allow us to kind of push forward and continue on our next project rather than kind of stop on that so it's four if you're looking for the price it's 499 and if you're doing um, the pre-order thing you're gonna save yourself 100 bucks and be 399 if you do the pre-order um, like I said if you do that like it, it give us the um, the resources that we need to work on the next one and move on to the future. Oh, you realize you're at 290. All right. Um, in the next, uh, I know you guys been asking me about the event stuff, but I'm not doing any more event this year. Um, it's I was do I was hoping to do the uh, annihilation this uh, coming weekend, but uh, certain things changed on that. You guys probably see my post so. I'm not going to that event. Uh, keep in mind, if you guys are needing something, you need to let me know by tomorrow. That's the last day I can ship out that will make it out to the event um, for Friday in California within uh, vicinity of four hours from where we are. It takes in one day to get to you. So if you are going to event, you need something, you need to message us right away so we can get it out for you so you can have it by the um, um, for the weekend, okay? As far as um, uh, event goes, that's it. That's that was that was my plan was going to that event. Um, that's my last event for the year. But um, a side note on that. So Annihilation is this weekend. It's a two-day event, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I don't have much detail on the event, but as far as the event goes, it it's in Copperopolis. It used to be the venue that we host operas in and war. Um, we did four, five, six, seven, and eight there. So um, that's about five years in a row we did uh, the event. I was saying a lot of times that is an abandoned couple mine. Um, it's uh, it's just a piece of land has really no coverage. It's a great venue for paintball. So if you guys want to play in the West Coast and want to try the event out, you have to do it. Um, I don't know. I personally don't know if they can continue to do it in the future because the event is really hard to put together. I mean, there is no air, there's no um, sanitation, <laughs> so they have to bring everything out, um, including paint. Um, they have to come out early to make sure all the safety zones are taped off. It's absolutely um, a great venue but you are going out be careful it is pretty dangerous out there there like I said it's not a paintball field so not everything is kind of um, you know, set out for you so when you do play make sure you pay attention what you're doing uh, don't run one direction and look the other um, there are some area where you can climb up high um, there's no barrier for you to um, keep off and you're not paying attention you can just fall and get hurt and there are trenches there with jack you know with sharp rocks and, and big um, obstacle that can get in the way so be really really careful if you are coming to play but you are coming out to play 
um, you have not come out to play, make sure that you are um, you have an opportunity to check it out. Like I said, I don't know if this venue can continue um, because it's not a field, it's a private land, and the land owner may change his mind not doing it anymore or and, you know, he sell the property, whichever. But uh, my point is that if you have opportunity to go, go. Don't wait until um, it's too late and you can't go anymore. So that's it. One of a kind venue, one of a kind event. Um, this year gonna be hosting by Mike Lovato, and he is doing um, uh, he's doing for an autism um, charity. Uh, so it's go to a good cause, and ODSC teams are gonna be running it too. To be they are part of the event. Bob Magnet he write he wrote the event. He uh, he actually uh, ran um, Operation Annual Four, I believe, and that was a great event. So um, you uh, coming out to event. Um, definitely, you will love the event because it will be it's it's been ran by a group of veterans of that venue. So you're not gonna be disappointed if you go out. So that my pitch on that. Like I said, I'm I'm not gonna be at that event. They 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 make a little bit of change. I can understand that. Wanna be clear on it too. Um, they want to set their event to be on its own, so that it doesn't associate with a, a native company or organization. So in the future able to get more support and get all the different industry to support it I can understand that hopefully they can accomplish what they set up to do um, regardless of that uh, it will be a kick-ass event if you are coming out all right guys any question on that let me know and then I will also end I will able to answer any question you have oh so um, the um, um, as far as I know you guys asking about um, the, um, the the box mag and other projects like I said, I was I'm continuing to work on those projects uh, I want to really knock this tornado out first I mean I've been I've been working on this project for almost two years and finally get it done uh, the the next one that we can the major the release being new next is actually the box mag and then after that um, have some other side project I'm working on as well so the next major one is box I believe that these are little project that we need to get it out first X7 Classic is needed I mean uh, there's a lot of X7 Classic markers out there and we um, want to focus on a conversion kit so that way players with an X7 Classic marker can convert their marker and go out there and play MacBet and you know bring those uh, markers have been sitting out when the cost of so long out into circulation and I believe that is really important for MacFed to grow another step otherwise these markers sitting there even the one a lot of them out there you can go to like the pawn shop or uh, a flea market or some sort of like swap meet and pick up those markers I've seen some some are going for like 20 30 bucks so you get that plus a kit now you gotta get it you just have a pretty decent marker I mean you're looking at these right here I mean, look pretty beautiful and set this up um, as a loner as a rental fleet or um, just put it back in circ circulation so when you go to an oh it's a backup so a lot of times when you go to an event someone always need a marker anyway so if you have something for them to play definitely um, you can bring that into circulation again and that will be awesome and of course, I mean, if, if you are into the wood stuff, you can actually build that AK-12 into the wood too. Um, something like this right here, it's uh, the whole kit just kind of plug and play. You attach it on, slide it over, set the screw in, and you are set. Same thing with butt stock, um, all set to go. And of course, building them is pretty easy now. I mean, you have, you have all the accessory that's out there already. Uh, AK-12, I'm sorry. XM Class have been out there for a long time, like I think about 15 years out there now. So there are a lot of different solution and accessory upgrade out there. So once you get this uh, AK-12 body, you can easily upgrade that and give yourself a pretty awesome marker to, to play with. And of course, I mean, a lot of you guys come in a little bit late and the key features that we have for this, year, for this one, obviously is the AK-12 and then you have your folding butt stock and this is a setup that we currently um, that took us so long to get the air to run through that point right there I mean imagine that right a lot of people when I hold this up right here go how does the air go well the air run through the hinge allow you to kind of go through magazine in lock it in lock it in right there and then 
run through, open it up, drop into place, and there. That's allow you to do both like an assault system and a CQB system, kind of both in one. Get you no game. Um, at the same time, not having to uh, <laughs> have something be big and bulky when you don't need it to be, and especially for storage or for um, transportation. Um, really easy for you to kind of fold and drop into the box. Take the Mac off right here. You put a pin, um, two little pin right here. You can pull right off. Take the barrel off right here, and then you can take the thing off. And then now you can easily um, store away with the hand guard side by side into a smaller profile setup. So I think that the, the, the idea behind this is allow you to give you more versatility system and give you the option to upgrade as you go. You don't have to build the entire thing exactly like this, but it definitely gives you that ability to convert your marker into something that you, um, you wanna use. All right, so that's the AK-12 currently uh, as an option for you and we have this as a project onto the site. I'll be posting onto the site and to Facebook um, page that you can participate into the pre-orders and the project on that. Alright guys, any question let me know. Um, I'm gonna call off the auction at um, 540 and then we're gonna end uh, the show right about that time giving us a little bit of time to uh, go trick-or-treating and uh, get ready for um, for Halloween festivity there. All right, good to see you guys. Uh, Damien, uh, Elijah, um, you are currently the top um, on on this auction market right here at 290. You guys have any question on this, uh, let me know. This right here, it's a really beautiful setup, um, nice and basic fully customized, beautiful paint job right here. Um, dual phantom grenade launcher. Oh man, um, right there. Sweet little setup here. Um, really well done by Maxwell Taylor. Well thought out. One of a kind guys, one of a kind. Um, you're never gonna see this marker again, the way it is built, the way it is set up. You're gonna want one, you have to build it yourself. So your last chance to um, pick this up this marker if you want to participate so I'm gonna call off the auction at 540 if you guys are gonna be um, wanting it uh, get on it right away before the time goes up and then a lot of time to you bid at the last minute and then of course it's a little bit too late so 540 I will call it off um, on this auction last one I'm gonna be on it all right guys so if you guys like I said um, uh, junior I just post the um, a little bit about the event there. You guys going out to the event? I think it's very well worth a event to go to. That's a great venue. Um, I was there for the last many years. I mean, I have been to every single event I was there. I help um, organize it. I help you know running a little bit, but most of the time I did tech work and vending there. So um, this year uh, I I didn't have the time or the resources to run the event there this year. So I took the event down locally, about 15 minutes from our headquarter, and did a five-on-five -five MCS competition there. It was, you know, the player have a blast. So we're looking to redo that event, uh, make it better next year, and make it bigger, make, give it a little bit more organization, more solid, um, give it more clear-cut and transparent um, scoring status and positioning, so that way when you do compete uh, and play, you're able to kind of know where your team is at. Um, the idea that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put together is eventually we'll have a full-blown competition in a, in, a, in a fun and scenario format. Not like, you're not just show up to compete, but you're showing up to play a scenario and compete. Um, so the way that we did is we have um, three, I mean, five, a team of fives competing against each other. And then the team that, they go by score, right? So the team uh, able to uh, advance and they get the higher score and move to the next, play with the next team and so on. Uh, and we'll kind of bracket together and then at the end, the, the two top teams will compete. And um, we're able to uh, 
the, the nice thing about doing that is that you, you're actually playing a scenario. So we have a couple scenario that we played. We have capture the flag, we have domination. Basically, you set a bomb and then you, the other team trying to kind of stop you from setting the bomb. We have kill confirm. Basically, you, you have a, a flag, what we call it a, a dead flag. So when you get shot, just drop the flag and the other team have to go and pick it up. So it's it's a lot of fun and then the player, I mean, it's an action-packed game. Constantly you, you, you play, you go back to the staging area, reload, clean, and then five, ten minutes later you're off again. You go play, there's really no downtime unless you want to take a, a breather or two, but um, it, it's constantly going all day long. And when you go to uh, a, an event, normally you don't really have that, uh, that type of gameplay. You go to you do your divide into teams right you know, you know uh, red or blue or north or south depends on how it's set up and then you go with the team and each you know you join a squad you go play and then all of a sudden you get shot you have to go reset um, and, um, and then clean yourself up and go back again so that you know it's 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 one of those games where you get shot, you go back into the game, you don't really know where you are, you don't know who where your your, your squad is, you don't know where your teammates are. So that's um, a little bit difficult to do that in the kind of the, the, the competition format that we put together. The competition format we put together is allow us to kind of put you guys into different groups and then um, you can know where you are and the time frame that you need to be to be at that field. So a uh, little bit different, but Oh boy, it was a lot of fun for the players, and we're hoping to set it up again uh, next year at you know at the time frame that you're able to kind of know ahead. This year was in a little bit of rush for us too. Um, we were originally um, uh, gonna do it different than somewhere else, but then we kind of readjust and then able to kind of do it locally, make it easier for us to kind of put the game and the event together. All right, guys. Um, is there a kit for AK-12 to throttle? Junior, you can use the Tipman x Classic um, trigger frame, electronic trigger, to use that. So we, we shot it, works great. And, or like this one here, um, we use the respawn trigger. And this respawn trigger is pretty, uh, pretty cool. It has this little tube right here. So every shot that you made, um, air actually we call that back um, blowback right blowback air come back into this this tube gas tube go into the trigger and inside the trigger frame it has a piston so every time you fire up the piston actually cycles it, when you pull the trigger the piston actually pull back your finger and then uh, naturally your muscle pull the trigger um, back again and that allows for that cycle it's a lot of fun to shoot if you're not used to it it's a little bit different, but you're used to it. It's, it gives you that feedback. That's why I call response. So it gives you that feedback. Boom, 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 boom. Kind of in a way, if you put it in the firearms world, we can call it like a bump trigger, right? So um, think of um, think of it's like that. Think of that way. If you, if you don't nothing with that, it's actually um, I don't recommend uh, you will install this from the get go unless you're willing to kind of uh, tune it. It is not really easy to tune to fine tune it so I'm just gonna give you a little bit of warning there but you will to adjust it fine tune make it work yeah it, it, it it's gonna be a lot of fun but if you just kind of want to plug and play I don't recommend it um, Tipman been selling this trigger for a long time and it got to the point where I think it may not continue to um, offer this trigger system the respond trigger system because it does take a little bit know-how and it does take um, a lot of support to get it going. But uh, the electronic trigger, that was just plug and play. And um, a few years ago, they released a new electronic trigger with the last selector with a battery in the back. So if you guys are able to find those, they're gonna pre be pretty awesome um, trigger setup right there. And it will go out to pre-order kit today. Um, <laughs> Corey, you can order the, the kit and you can order the gun, the whole built, built gun if you want to. The kit is um, I'm looking to ship out the kit sometime next well, the next next month yet, but we're still in October. Sometime in um, December, um, pushing for around Christmas time. So if you guys are looking for getting a kit, uh, it's a good time to order so we can get it out for you when it comes in. So um, that is it on the AK-12. Uh, if you guys have any question AK-12, you can shoot me an email. 
message me on Facebook um, and I will answer any question you have. Like I said, this is a new concept we put together. Like I said, in the past where what we did is we just kind of make the product and then we produce it when it comes in and we ship it out. Um, now, like I said, we just did something new, a little bit different. We are doing a project um, product now. So allow us to kind of continually um, design and get more project out as opposed to kind of design a project, make it, um, stop um, developing because we we'll have to put time resource into making a product, ship it out, get some funds and make the next project. So I think now with the age of media, the age of interconnectivity, allow us to kind of reach out to you guys um, and um, uh, supporting the project before it's fully in production. This way, we're able to continue putting out uh, project after project without kind of slow down. Let us kind of get in more, more project done, more, uh, more of everything. All right, guys. Oh, 540. Um, Elijah, congratulations. You are the winner of this week auction. Um, this you will not be disappointed with this guy over here. This I would I would like this call like a trophy. Uh, I would get like a magazine right here, and then I would put um, put like some weight on there, and then we'll hang it by my my my, my count or something like that. This thing is uh, I would get like a little scope or something like that, a little um, maybe an urban red dot sight, paint it a little black, and give yourself this futuristic setup right here um, it is pretty darn wicked so congratulations you're gonna love this thing whether you're gonna bring out the fail or as a showpiece um, something to be proud of because this is one of a kind only the only one that ever gonna be made by us um, try pretty hard to replicate this All right guys uh, congrats congratulations Elijah um, contact us and then we'll get this out to you all right, guys, any question, comment, concern, uh, let me know, and I will be able to answer for you. Um, as far as um, the show, um, we next week, you're going to get to see the drop-down folding buttstock on a 468. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot, and we're able to make uh, a prototype, and I'll always just show you guys, and you can, can see how cool it is. Um, this one is built specifically for this right here on, on, on the AK-12 only. It's actually, it can be compatible, not really. It, you can put this on other marker too, but we built this in um, seamlessly with the chicken frame. So how it's kind of connect together, how, I mean, this whole rifle here, it, it built to be a flow together. So um, this right here, the, the buttstock, you can put on a hurricane and other markers, but it's not gonna look right. You can mod it, cut it, whatever. But we decided that we, we wanna make the AK-12 to stand on its own, make it where it's fully flow together with all the details, all the geometry, make it where it's, um, it cuts in and flow very nicely here. So, AK-12, guys. All right, guys, any question about AK-12 or any other future product or any product that we're working on, go ahead and uh, post it and they're all able to address anything you guys have. All right, guys, um, thank you for being part of the show. I know every week you guys take the time to log on and you know and be with us for an hour. Thank you so much for your participation and support. If you guys um, need me, you can go to my Facebook page and message me or email me kt at mcsus.com. Any problem, um, comment concern about anything just go ahead and shoot me an email and I will able to address that for you um, if I don't hear about it I'm not gonna able to solve it for you so you have to give me that opportunity so uh, just give me a message all right guys um, I'm that's pretty much it for the week if you guys want to um, get onto AK-12 appreciate it and like I said it's allow us to kind of push forward making greater project into the future uh, expect next is the major project next is probably gonna be the box mag and then next week I'll show you guys the um, the drop down ASA on the 468 in PTR alright guys um, I will 
see you guys out there and happy Halloween. I'm going to play my video and then I'll see you guys next week. Take care, guys.